hello guys welcome back to my channel so please make sure you have this sketchwork pro version 6.40 beta 6 to be able to um create this project otherwise it will, will not work after you build it so this video will show you how to be creating admob interstitial ads okay i will try to create admob interstitial ads so to download um, the um, AdMob Interstitial Ads project, very easy. Just go to um, Zito's um, project store, go to the home, um, click on um, AdMob um, Interstitial Ads. And when you click on AdMob Interstitial Ads, um, you download the project. So after the project is downloaded complete, um, you go to um, Restore Projects right here. You click on Restore Project. Um, the project store, will, the link will be down in the description. So you click here to go back, you click here to go back, click here to go back. Then you look for um, Zito's project right here. And when you click on Zito's project, um, we are going to be looking for um, project files. When we click on project files, the downloaded project will be here. So what we want to restore here is um, the um, add mob. So, so um, the add mob what we're looking for the add mob interstitial ads which is right here right when we, we then we'll highlight this right here um then what we we'll select okay we we'll select then as you can see it here our add mob interstitial ads here so guys let me delete this. Okay, let's um click on this plus sign here. Let's name it add mob. Add mob. Add mob interstitial rats. Click on settings. Um, change your project name. Let me just name it also AdMob Interstitial Ads. Let me use this station line here and here. Sorry, and here and change with this capital letter. So let's see. So we're going to use this here also. So let me just see if that is add more interstitial ads, okay? So let me just create the project. So after I create the project, I'll have to go back again, save and exist. Click on this icon right here. Go to the configuration settings. Make sure the minimum configuration settings is 19 and the SDK is 30 but i would love to use 50 okay save open the project back so now we're going to put in our linear v length should be match parent height should be match parent then i will bring it at my button once again so i'll be giving this linear here this linear here i'll be giving it um gravity of sun so it's on vertical horizontal and a lot of center vertical horizontal. Okay, so guys, when we're done with that, so we're going to, we're going to go to um, events and on create. So on creating this activity, what actually is going to happen? So we have to go to our add more block, which is right here. So if you don't have this block, I will show you how to get this block. Just go to um, Zito's project store. When you go to Zito's project store, just click on blocks. Then you download AdMob at JSON. When you download AdMob at JSON, you click on download and you download the AdMob at JSON. So after the download is complete, um, we'll go back to our sketch where since we're in already in Uncreate, we'll click on this icon right here. We'll go to developer tools, we'll go to block manager. Then create a new name of our any name of our choice by clicking 
on this plus sign here any name of our choice let me name it add mob add mob so we'll choose any color of our choice let me choose this color purple then we save so after we save this project actually is going to be empty the block is actually going to be empty so either we'll create our block or we import our block so we're going to be importing our block by clicking on this icon right here so when we click on this icon right here we're going to go to import blocks so when we click on import blocks we're going to be looking for zito's project um so you can click here to go back okay so we'll look for zito's project so this is zito's project so i'm going to be clicking on blocks then we'll click on um add mob all at json when we'll click on add mob at all um json we'll click on um select we'll click on all so everything will be here then we'll go back so then we'll find it since i already have this i will delete this first of all delete permanently i already have the block so when we've done that we'll be able to find the block right here but if you've done that and you cannot you cannot find the block just simply exist this project and open the project again go back to your own create then you'll find this right here so when you are here while doing working on interstation right so we have to load interstation ads in on create and i'm going to add our test device right here also sorry we're going to add our test device our sorry our advertising id our device advertising id right here so to get our device advertising id just go to your device settings depending on your device because i don't know the way your device work you click on google so after you click on google you click on ads as you can see here ads right here after you click on ads right here this is your advertising id this is your this is your device advertising id so we'll copy this id right here now and we'll paste this id here so because of our, this is tutorial i will not be pasting this here this is my device advertising id so i'll just be typing anything right here for the tutorial sake so once we are done with that we click on this icon right here we go to local library we click on um, app compact and design we we'll switch this on so now that advertising id that we copied we are also going to paste it here in this add mob when we click on add mob now we click on this plus sign here actually we are working on interstitial ads so we won't be typing anything of our choice sorry guys for that so we're going to clean this we're going to name it interstitial we're going to name this interstitial and we're going to be putting our interstitial app id here so you go to your app mob account to get that but since this is a tutorial i will just take one from google so google is going to give me one for test so i'll just type add mob test id once i type i, I type add mob test id on google then they'll give me a test id for interstitial ads so this is what i need i copy this so after I copy this, I'll be pasting this right here. Okay. Then I'm going to add it. Then I'll click on next. Then I'll edit this interstitial and interstitial. Okay. Because here it's meant to be for banners. Since we're not integrating banners, I'll just choose interstitial for the boat. Then next. Then here I'm going to add that our text device that I showed you. Our device ID, I mean. We'll be adding our device id advertising id our device advertising id right here by clicking on this plus sign here so we have to delete what is ever is here do not use it then go back to your settings your google ads then you copy your advertising id so after i've done that you paste this right here since this is tutorial i'll type anything right here guys so after we are done with that the next thing we are going to do sorry guys I can't admit it. so um, so we 
interstitial paste add next edit interstitial and interstitial that was a mistake so like i said they're going to delete what is here for the tutorial sake i'll just type anything add next and save so as you can see it is on as you can see on so we'll go back so when we go back we'll go to um on click events so when this button is click we're going to go to events when this button here is click what is going to happen so when that button here is clicked i want this to happen it should show it there our interstitial ads so we we'll just go to add mob look for interstitial when that button is clicked it should what show interstitial ads and load interstitial ads on this main activity right so let's go back so when we've do, once we've done that like i said in this activity this activity is main activity that's why it is in main activity so once we've done that um we'll go to our events here click on more block here then we'll click on this plus sign here and name it extra extra we'll add then we'll open our extra block we're going to open our add more block again right here when we'll open our add more block we're going to paste this code right here in the extra block this code right here so we're going to put in interstitial ads our app um, at, um, our app id not the device id the app id so on interstitial field to load on this miss on full screen displayed so that's what we're going to be doing for here so on this which activity we are right now on the main activity right so we're going to be basing our app id which is now our add more background but i'll be using the one for the test testing because this is a tutorial so i'll be copying it again copy and what pasting so i'll be going back back so what should i do now i'm going to what run the app so let me switch off my data to make it run smoothly so guys don't forget to like don't forget to share don't forget to subscribe and for my um subscribing on subscribers i thank you very much for subscribing back um for those who have subscribed who haven't left i hope you also keep on joining us Please do not skip any of my video, you will miss a lot. Um, in the next video now, after this one, I'll be showing you guys how to um, create, um, how to edit this block to add more, um, how to edit the block to add more banner ads block, like I said in the banner video. So I'll also show you how to create AdMob account. Then after I show you how to create your AdMob account, then in the next video, I will know the next video we are going to be talking about. So if you have any video in mind, you could say if I could do it, I'll do it. If I can't do it, I will try. If I can't, then I won't do it, guys. So thank you, guys. So while we wait, so we're going to install it now. Could share this project with your friends also open so let's click on it as you can see i'm moving to station ads let's see if our project is actually working as you can see it guys this is our interstitial ads see it guys thank you guys for watching love you so much